Hello, my name is Professor Stephen Twigg and I'm here with Dr Angela Lee and we're very excited that we've been successful with the Diabetes Australia Research Program regular grant addressing issues related to type 1 diabetes and exercise, high intensity interval training and in particular trying to improve glycemic control. And Angela, would you like to go ahead and describe this study in more detail? Our research aims to see whether 12 weeks of high intensity interval training will improve glucose control in adults with type 1 diabetes. In addition to this, we hope to see that this exercise will improve other factors such as fitness, diabetes complications, in particular heart and liver health, as well as cardiorespiratory fitness and aspects of quality of life. As you can see with our type 1 diabetes study design, people will either be randomised into the intervention group with the 12 weeks of high intensity interval training or the control group with 12 weeks of usual care. However, as part of our partial crossover design, all participants will eventually be able to experience the 12 weeks exercise program. We hope that individual participants will be able to get benefit individually from this exercise program and on a wider scale we hope that our results from this research will enable us to provide recommendations for people with type 1 diabetes to exercise safely and for it to improve health outcomes. Thanks Angela. So this is the first study where we're going to see in an appropriate powered randomised controlled trial format whether HbA1c levels can improve in people who are overweight or obese and is supported in undertaking regular structured exercise in type 1 diabetes. Uh, we hypothesise that the glycemic control will improve in a safe manner and we may also be uh, in a situation to view whether the longer term complications of diabetes are also improved by this study. So Angela is PhD student, endocrinologist and myself as supervisor with multiple collaborators through CPC RPA clinic at the University of Sydney and RPA look forward to undertaking the study in the near future.